All praise is due to Yahweh Ba'ashab, Yahweh Shai. By here representing the Ancient of Days, the God, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Israelites, the saints of the Lord, are coming back. We, we believe God is love. Yahweh is love, and He loves the 12 tribes of Israel as He is sending His prophets out to gather the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the so-called minorities of North, Central, South America, and the Caribbean, because we are the chosen. It's, uh, it's nothing to be, our tongue is not going to be bitten. We're not going to hold back anymore because this Bible belongs to us, so-called Puerto Ricans and the so-called Black Americans. It's not the book of the Europeans and those people who came to America from Europe and try to impose on the people here, the Native Americans and the Black Americans, they try to impose a European-centric version of the Bible. We, we're not going for that no more because the saints have awoken. The Bible, the King James Version, the Hebrew Scrolls, the Torah, the Tanakh, and the Gospel is to awaken the saints and to judge the wicked. So the first scripture I'm going to go into is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Because our God is one God. We don't believe in, we're not polytheistic. We believe God the Father is one God, the God of the Hebrews, okay? The God of Christianity is a perverted version of the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our God is one Lord. So the God of the Bible is one Lord, okay? To get back to the one Lord, the Ancient of Days, we must go through his son, the King of Kings, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Right. In, the, in the European uh, transliteration is Jesus the Christ. We say Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So the lesson today is Revelation chapter 2. Hear, O Israel, the lesson of Revelation chapter 2. We know the words of Yahweh do not go out void. So if there's one person here and there's scattered people walking up and down, it's okay because God the Father and the angels and Jesus Christ approved this message, okay? Who shall hear shall hear and those who forbear, let them forbear because there's gonna be a separation of goats and sheep, okay? We represent the sheep, those who wanna follow America, follow the Vatican, all European customs, they are the goats. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesians, write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. So this is Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. This is the ultimate force of heaven and earth, of all, all the universe. He, he can hold seven stars, okay? This is the Son of God, okay? the son of the Ancient of Days, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. So Yahweh Shai, in the vision given to John, the revelator, he walks in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, which is the menorah. The menorah is the symbol of an ancient instrument in the ancient temple of the Israelites, okay? It is a symbol of the Israelites it is the symbol of you so-called Puerto Ricans, and you Black Americans, and you Native Americans, okay? This is something we must reclaim, the menorah, okay? The Shira David, okay? The scriptures, these are part of our holy heritage. And Jesus Christ walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. So Hanukkah is one of our high holy days. Yahweh Shai walked in the midst of it, he recognized the Feast of the Dedication. So us Israelites, we also are going to recognize that holiday, that holy day, Hanukkah. It's for you Puerto Ricans and Black Americans and you Jamaicans and Native Americans. So I'm going to read on. What are you reading? I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. And how, canst, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. So back then, 2,000 years ago, 
Jesus Christ had an issue with the leadership of the church in those times. There was people claiming to be about Jesus Christ, but they were false teachers and false apostles. Now, 2,000 years ago, there is nothing new under the sun. We also tried those who say they are apostles and say they are teachers. And we cannot bear them because they, they, are, they are about evil. They are against the Holy Bible. These teachers teaching us to worship the image of the European, the image of the beast. We know Jesus Christ is a man of color. So this is just step one into understanding the Holy Bible, the revelation of Jesus Christ. It is important because this is what's given unto his servants and signified by his servant John. I'm going to read that again. I know thy works. The works that is being spoken about is the holy apostles 2,000 years ago. They had problems with false apostles back then. We also have problems with false apostles in these times. In 2021, in Babylon the Great, the Puerto Ricans and the Black Americans, the saints have woken up and we see the issue that's going on. The issue is that the Antichrist is alive and well, okay? It's not only in Damien, in The Omen, okay? In movies such as, what was the name of that movie? Uh, the Chosen. The Chosen. They had Kirk Douglas, I think it was uh, Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas and his son played the Antichrist. No, the Antichrist is the whole European world, okay? Those who have acknowledged and accept Caesar Borgia, the white image of Jesus Christ, as the truth. It is not the truth. Jesus Christ was a man of color. So we found their works to be evil. That is just one example, okay? They say that the dietary law is done away with, that we do not have to keep Passover, that we do not have to keep the Feast of Tabernacles, the Day of Atonement. So we have found their works to be evil. We have woken up the saints by the grace of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh I'm going to read on. And has borne and has patience and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. So we have patience because in this land with, with the wickedness that's going on on this earth and specifically Babylon the Great and its influence into the Latin American countries, the West Indies, Jamaica, Haiti. We have patience because we know that's going to come to an end. The New World Order will actually not be run by Illuminati and Lucifer. The New World Order will be Black Jesus Christ sitting at the throne as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And all glory will go back to Abinawa Yahweh, okay? So we have patience. It's the patience of the saints. That's right. Yeah, for the namesake, the namesake of Yahweh Shai, we're going to keep pushing the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because that name will be glorified. All these shall bow down to Yahweh Shai at his second coming, okay? So Jesus Christ is not the name, because there's billions of people who have bowed down to the name Jesus Christ. Billions have bowed down to that name. So how can that be the name if Yahweh Shai said that all shall bow to his name at the second coming. So there's a discrepancy there. You have not taught the real name. You have hidden it. But us, the Native Americans, the Puerto Ricans, in the ancient world, we knew about those names. Okay? In uh, the land of our captivity, we have lost it. I'm going to read on. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. So our first love is when we came to the knowledge of the truth. The knowledge of the truth, our first love, is accepting Abinawa as a dark-skinned, so-called black man with white woolly hair, as it says in the book of Daniel. Once we realized that we are of that holy heritage, that became our first love. Finding out Jesus Christ was our brother and our king, and he's a man of color. That's part of the first love. Going back into the laws, statutes, commandments, our history of King David, King Solomon, Adam, all these sons of God are directly linking our bloodline to us black and Puerto Ricans. That's our first love. Okay? Fasting to the Most High. Repenting to the Most High. 
keeping the high holidays. That is part of the first love, okay? Back then, 2,000 years ago, they went away from the teachings of Jesus Christ. They went away from their first love, as it says in the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. So this is, this is the reason I am out here on a Sunday afternoon, because I don't want to leave my first love, okay? The Bible, the Holy Commandments, the Holy uh, Instructions given to the saints and the sons of God. That is the first love. I'm trying to cleave unto my first love, okay? Because that's the only way we're going to re receive everlasting life and salvation, turning back to the Holy Bible. I'm going to read on. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Right, you got to repent. And remember where thou art fallen. You turn back to the, the love of God. We fell many ways. We fell by accepting Christianity. We fell by eating um, unclean food, pork, shrimp, crabs, lobsters. We have fell by voting for the oppressor, the presidents of the United States. We have fell by calling a man the Holy Father in the Vatican, the Pope. These are some of the examples of how we have fallen. Black on black crime, Hispanic on Hispanic crime, the drug cartels of Mexico, of Colombia. That is part of the fall of the saints of the Lord. That's all evil. And that shall be recompensed in these coming days. And the judgments have already started. The Most High is only going to increase the coronavirus. It's going to be alpha, beta, lambda, gamma, all the way, all the way through the whole alphabet. And then that's not the end of it. You also have earthquakes, fire, storms, terrorism. This is some of the judgments for not recognizing the Holy Bible. Christianity does not accept the Holy Bible. They only accept their dogma. I'm going to read on. And repent and do the first works. We have to return to the first works given to us by Yahweh Jesus Christ, okay? The fruits of the Spirit. Everything taught in the New Testament is the first works. Also, all the commandments, statutes that apply to us through the mercy and grace and love of Yahweh Shai. We're not going to keep, we cannot keep all the law. We do not do the sacrificial law, okay? But the first works is everything that applies to the saints as we rehearse the righteous acts in the land of drawing water, in the land of our captivity, Babylon the Great. If you're in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Haiti was just judged by the Father Yahweh. We pray and love our people in Haiti, the tribe of Levi, okay? We pray that they awaken to the, their holy, God-given heritage as the tribe of Levi, as Israelites, as sons of God. It's high time to wake out of sleep. We make these videos so they can go out throughout the world and awaken some of the saints, okay? Because this is not a game no more. It's never been a game. And uh, I'm going to read on. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. So this is very important. You don't want Yahweh Shai, okay? That's it. He, he, he killeth it. He make it for life. He can remove your candlestick, your spiritual force, your spirit. He can snatch it off you if you don't repent and be and return back to your first love, okay? Back to the commandments. Back to the love and mercy of Yahweh Shai. Back to teaching your people. A lot of our brothers and sisters that have woken to the fact that they are Israelites have gone back into the world. Some of them have accepted Kamala Harris. Some of them have accepted Biden. Some of them have accepted Christianity. That's madness. How can you awaken to your first love and return back to the ways of the world, okay? A lot of, a lot of brothers and sisters out there amongst the Israelites, those who have awakened, returning back to the hip hop world. Want to do a, a song and a jingle and a damn dance. You think King David was was dancing when his people were under oppression? No, when, when his people were under oppression of the other nation, it was time for warfare. It was not time to sing. David had songs, Solomon had songs, but they were wise enough to know those songs and that mirth was only when our people were in safety. That's when right. Yahweh had, had us under his protection. Not, not in slavery. Why, why do you want to do a rap, a poetry, in captivity? 
How can we sing the, the Lord, the Lord's song in the strange land? I'm gonna read on. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. So back then, there were people, men amongst the Israelites, that were creeping in into the camps. To put it like that, back then, into the churches. To bring it up to date, we have Nicolaitans among us today. Okay? Amongst the camps. That's obvious. The truth has begun to spread the last 50, 60 years, going back to the 18, late 1800s, 1900s. How much madness have we not read about and heard about amongst those black Americans and other Hispanics that have woken up to the truth that they're Israelites? Adultery, uh, thievery, taking the uh, priest fund and types to start and live your own lifestyle. There's, there's a lot of wickedness even amongst those Israelites that have awakened. Revelation chapter 2 is calling you up, okay? Revelation 2 is not about the Edomites. Revelation chapter 2, you hear that up? Revelation 2 is not about the Moabites or the Hamites. Revelation chapter 2 is about you wicked Israelites. Back 2,000 years ago and today. I'm going to read on. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So this applies now to the camps. This is what the Spirit is saying to these camps. It's not talking about the churches of Christianity. Because the only truth nowadays, it's in camps, it's in organizations that call themselves Israelites and recognize, recognize themselves as Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Issachar, okay? So the Spirit is speaking to us. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. So that's a powerful thing that back then our father, okay, Adam, okay, holy Adam in the beginning before he fell had access to the tree of life. It's going to be given back to us. That's a, a holy spiritual force promise to you blacks and Puerto Ricans. But the only holy spiritual force that you want is to smoke weed. The holy spiritual force that you want is to play damn video games and look at movies all day long. While the dragon is plotting your demise. He's plotting the new world order. He's plotting to put a microchip inside of you. Okay? But God doesn't want that for you. He actually wants to give you the tree of life. I'm going to read on. Which is in the midst of the paradise of Yahweh. So that's a beautiful thing. This is why we come out here to teach our people because we want to make it back to the paradise of Yahweh. I'm going to read on. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. So Yahweh Shai was the one that was dead and is alive. This is a promise also to us. We are currently dead. As it says in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, you black Americans is dead. You Puerto Ricans are dead. You're dead to God. Okay? You don't have the Holy Spirit in you. Adam was formed out of the dust of the earth. The Holy Spirit had to be given to Adam to raise him up. And the Holy Spirit is back raising up Adam once again. Okay? You blacks and Puerto Ricans, you're Adam. You must be risen up with the holy wisdom of the Bible. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So back then, the works of the holy apostles was the missionaries going out and teaching the Israelites scattered in Spain, Asia Minor, North Africa, all those parts of the world. To bring it up to date, the works is coming out, Babylon the Great, wherever you at, okay, United States of America on the streets. If it's winter time, spring time, rain, rain, snow, or uh, you know, any any conditions out of the streets, you should come out here and teach your people. That's the works. I know thy works. And tribulation. The works of tribulation has many uh, understandings. The people of this uh, this land that built up this land is the black Americans. That was the works, the slavery that built up Babylon the Great. The Jews always built up those kingdoms under the Greeks and Romans and the Babylonians. Okay? And in slavery, you use that workforce. I know thy works 
is also the slave force that was used by the oppressor to build up their kingdom, okay? They took the riches of the Native Americans. I know thy works and tribulation. The tribulation is racial prejudice. The tribulation is mockery of us and our history calling us spits and spooks and niggers, okay? That was done in this country by so-called Christians. Okay, I was seeing a movie last night called The Last of His Tribe, where they used to actually save the skulls of the Native Americans in the Museum of Natural History here in Manhattan, in New York City. That's only something a devil can do, okay? The last of his tribe. Why is it why was it the last of his tribe? Because the dragon came from Europe and exterminated the Native Americans. And they make movies about them. Okay? That's wickedness. That's high wickedness. And that, ha that must be, uh, there must be a recompense for that. For the works and tribulation given to the saints of God. But thou art rich. We are rich because we got the Holy Bible. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We're the kings. That, we are the kings of the earth. The princes of the earth. The priests of the earth. This is, this is why we are rich. The covenant was for us, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is why we are rich. We're not the poor, the so-called minorities. The kingdom of heaven is for us. The kingdom of heaven shall take place on earth after America is destroyed by thermonuclear war, after it is destroyed by the second coming of Jesus Christ and the archangel Michael and the other archangels, okay? The army of God. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. This was, this was put in the Bible. This was spoken to John the Revelator because you had wicked Israelites back 2,000 years ago. They were the synagogue of Satan. Today, the synagogue of Satan, the Bible is a living book. So anybody claiming to be Jews, okay, you are the synagogue of Satan. Do you accept right. Jesus Christ? How are you not the synagogue of Satan when you do not pray to Jesus Christ in your synagogue? Okay? Obviously, you're worshiping the, the left-hand force. You're worshiping Satan in the synagogue. If you do not accept Yahweh's son, the son of God, you are worshiping Satan. Okay? So that becomes the synagogue of Satan. You, you claim to be of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but you're actually from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. Okay? So we're going to read on. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So back in the ancient world, when the first Christians were rising up, the black Christians, the Roman authorities were casting some of us into prison. Did not Peter be cast into prison? Was not Paul cast into the prison? Who cast them into the prison? The Roman devils, okay? Bringing it up today, in these times, teaching the word is gonna have some of us be cast into prison. That's okay, because if the devil cast some of us into prison, we know the angels will release us from that prison. And this, America is a prison, okay? Babylon the Great is a prison. The hold of every foul spirit, okay? A habitation of devils. So Yahweh is going to send his son to release us from prison. Our people is the majority in prison, black and Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. When that prison is going to be destroyed and God's going to save his elect out of this prison known as United States of America. That's right. That ye may, that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. We're gonna to have to be faithful unto death. Some people are gonna be martyrs for the word of God, for the word of Yahweh. Located in the Holy Bible, King James Version, in the scrolls, the Torah, and the Tanakh, okay? And some of us are gonna be put to death for the word of God, but that's okay. If you die in the name of Yahweh Shai, and his father Yahweh, then you're gonna get a crown of life. We're not looking for Olympic medal out here. We're not looking for best rap record or the best boxer like Floyd Mayweather and the uh, other 
Tyson Fury, we're not, we're not looking to be the best athlete or the best rapper or the best anything in America. We're looking to be the best servants of God the Father and Son Jesus Christ by coming out here and teaching our people to wake up. That's how you get a crown in life. Not, not, not by taking the vaccine. By taking the vaccine, you're taking the poison of the dragon. Okay? All praises. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh should not be hurt of the second death. The first death was the great flood sent in the elder world by Yahweh. Alashadia sent a flood and destroyed the elder world. But now this world shall be destroyed and consumed by holy fire sent by Yahweh Shai. I am come to send fire on the earth. Thus saith Yahweh Shai, the Son of God. So God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The world is those in the world, the saints that are saved through the fire. You must be saved through the fire to receive that love given by Yahweh. That's how you receive everlasting life. John 3.16 must agree with the other prophecies. So we know that we're looking to be saved through the fire that's going to destroy America in the Third World War in Armageddon. So I'm going to read on. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he that have the sharp sword with two edges. So this is the image not given to you in the churches of the world of Jesus Christ coming with a two-edged sword. They, they, they show you the image of Yahweh or uh, actually the white image with a, with a lamb, a lamb in his arms. But Revelation says he has a two-edged sword. A two-edged sword is an instrument of killing and an instrument of warfare. That's what you're gonna learn as you read the entire scroll of Revelation that is a, a book revealing the warfare coming on earth and also the kingdom coming on earth after America is destroyed. I'm going to read on. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name. So we hold fast the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Back then, 2,000 years ago, the Greco-Roman Greco world is where Satan's seed is, Rome. Okay? It, right with Vatican. The Vatican is Satan's seat. Okay? Does not him, he, himself call himself the Heavenly Father, the Holy Father? That's Satan's seat in the Vatican. Back then, 2,000 years ago, Satan's seat was the Roman Empire. Those are the people that crucified Christ. The Romans, Italians, so-called white people, so-called Europeans. In the Bible, they're known as Edomites. They represent Satan's seat. And thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. So we're not going to deny the faith of Jesus Christ, okay? The Holy Bible, the entire Bible, okay? Only the grace and mercy of Yahweh can save us. Some of these things are repetitive because the Bible uh, is a book rejected from, uh, by the saints by the rebellious Israelites time and again since the elder world, since uh, coming out of Egypt. So some of these instructions have to be repeated time and time again, okay? And hold his fast my name and has not denied my faith. Many have denied the faith of the Bible. That's why you're getting the vaccine, okay? That's why you're getting the vaccine. You deny the faith. You deny the faith of the Bible, of Jesus Christ. That's why you're getting the vaccine. You trust science. You trust Fauci. Fauci's name means reaper. Like the grim reaper. Fauci means reaper. Okay? So how are you going to trust somebody whose name is associated with death? Reaper. Okay? Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. These people are not about the Bible. Why haven't they... Did they, did they have in their announcement victory speech as being president and vice president, did they acknowledge Jesus Christ? Did they acknowledge God the Father? Did they pray in front of the nation and ask the, uh, God to, to save them from the pestilence? No, they did not. So they are not 
the servants of God. They represent Satan and Satan's seat. Joe Biden bows down to the black pope of the Vatican, okay? He bow, he's a Jesuit. Kamala Harris is just a puppet. And all these, like uh, Cuomo, another Catholic, he bows down to the black pope. The black pope is the Jesuit pope who controls the white pope that, that, that those names are associated with their garments. One wears black, one wears white. Secret society that bows down to Satan, the Jesuits. So we're gonna read on. Even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth, okay? So the dragon was persecuting our people back then. And some of our people are down with the dragon. You black, you blacks and Puerto Ricans, you also with the dragon. That's why you take the dragon's vaccine, so-called vaccine. Vaccine goes back to a word that means cattle. That's all you are, cattle. Vaccine, in Latin, it means vaca. It means cow or cattle. Because they're treating you like cattle. They're marking you. And they're gonna mark you with the mark of the beast, okay? The last mark of the beast, the microchip, all that, you're gonna be associated, you're gonna be locked in, and you're gonna be linked up with the beast's system the Antichrist system. That's what's coming. Thou should not buy or sell without the mark. You'll see, just watch and see. I'm going to read on. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things, sacrifice unto idols, and to commit fornication. So back then, you had Israelites that were bugging the hell out. Today, you have Israelites that are bugging the hell out in the faith. These were people associated with the original Christians, okay? They had bugged out beliefs, heresies, doctrines of devils. So we see that even nowadays, there's all kinds of heresies even amongst the camps, even amongst these organizations claiming to be about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad. Revelation chapter 2 is not about Esau, the white man. Revelation chapter two is about you wicked, slick Israelites out there that think you can hide from the Most High. But he's calling you out all throughout Revelation. We're gonna keep calling you out. So has thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So you can go into the history and see a lot of Israelites, Christians, were going off into heresies, into a cultish, uh, cultish mind, mixing a paganism with the scriptures, or mixing their own vain thoughts and imaginations with the holy instructions of the Messiah. Listen to me. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, so uh, we know there's Nicolaitans out here today amongst you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we're just gonna, we're gonna uh, hold fast the name of Yahweh Shai to the end, to the very end. We're not gonna go, we're not gonna stray, we're not gonna call no man high commanding this, high commanding that, bishop this, bishop of 5,000 bishops, general of 5,000 generals. We don't accept that. We are helpers, helpers of the pure path. We wanna bring people back to the ancient of days those with a pure heart shall see the face of God, the ancient of days, with a white woolly afro, okay? Abanawa, Yahweh, the ancient of days. That is our mission as helpers of Yahweh, of the pure path. Not bringing people back to a camp, a building, to bow down, to pay tithes. We're, pre we're preparing people to be Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to read on. That's right. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to he eat of the hidden manna. So this is a high spiritual force. Once again, we're talking about the tree of life. Now this is about the hidden manna. These are things only Yahweh Shai knows about, all right? It's not, you don't have to bust your brain trying to figure out what is the hidden manna. All these high spiritual forces 
being given back to the sons of God is something that we look forward to and we do our best to lock into the law, statutes, and commandments in the grace and mercy of Yahweh by repenting, fasting, studying, keeping the high holy days, by teaching our people, and those things shall be added unto us at their appointed time. Okay? The spiritual power, the hidden manna, the entrance to the paradise, the tree of life. I'm going to read on. And we'll give him a white stone. So we are seekers of the white stone, okay? We're not out here looking to have white women concubines or concubines of the nations or to uh, live it up and you'll see Edomites in the cotton fields. We're, look, we're out here looking for the white stone given to us by the ancient, the holy ancient, the God of old, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's what we're out here. We're looking to receive that white stone given to us by the Son of God. And in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, save it he that receiveth it. So that's a holy ceremony in the kingdom of heaven. These are holy ceremonies, holy uh, appointed times to come in the kingdom to come, okay? For the saints of the Lord. We're not looking for the damn new movie of Hollywood, who's going to be the next president, okay? The next Olympics in four years. We're looking for that holy ceremony when a, a white stone is given to us where no man knoweth the name but those who receive it. That's what we're looking for. People are looking for who uh, the Nas's next album, Jay-Z's next album, all these newer rappers that came out. To so hell with them. They're going to go out in the second death, okay? The second death. Fire sent by Jesus Christ. So after all that, we're looking for, for a new heaven and a new earth. I'm going to read on. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, These things saith the son of Yahweh, which have his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. So this is Jesus Christ. He has feet as fine brass. His whole body is as fine brass. He is a brown-skinned man. Okay? That's the, that's the son of God. Not a European, Italian, or Roman. He, has, he is as fine brass, as a brown-skinned man. I'm going to read on. I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. So this is specifically speaking about the apostles 2,000 years ago. They were totally locked in into the work of Yahweh teaching them of the Lamb, of the sacrifice of the Lamb, of Jesus Christ. Bringing it up to date, we must also strive to have the patience and the works and the faith mentioned in Revelation chapter 2. Verse 20, Revelation 2 and 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. So back then, you had, once again, what was this? A mixing of paganism. There's Israelites out here mixing of the comedic, the comedic belief with scriptures. There's people out here uh, mixing uh, Islam but an Israelite. I'm a Muslim Israelite. I'm a comedic Israelite. So back then, they were mixing Jezebel, the, the uh, philosophy of Jezebel, with the truth. Yahweh had to give this instruction to John the Revelator to write that in a letter and push it to the churches to look out for that seducing spirit. 2,000 years later, we also recognize the seducing spirit of a feminine vibration coming upon the camps coming upon the organizations. It could be feminine vibration where men want other men to bow down before them, call them a high-ranking uh, deacon, high-ranking general of all generals, bishop of bishops, general of all generals. Get out of here, bro. We are helpers of Yahweh, okay? We must return back to the pure path, not to our building, not to a camp, not to an organization, not to a church, not to a synagogue, we are returned to the pure path back to Yahweh. Okay? 
I'm going to read on. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication as she repented not. So back then, Yahawashah, he's so merciful, he gave space to repent of certain camps back then that were going off. So still, there's still time to repent and people are mixing in all kinds of false doctrine with the pure instructions of Yahawashah, okay? There's still time to repent, okay? There's people giving their lives for men and they're, they're supposed to follow men to their old and great. What about those men you let them loose so they come out in the streets of Babylon and teach their people? Why do, why do they need somebody to lead them when the Bible has been given to us? King James was ordained by the Most High during slavery. The slavery in the United States of America, at the same time, King James was given the, the Bible to translate into English, knowing the tribe of Judah would be in slavery and awaken in the next 100, 200 years, 300 years. So we got the Bible, the guides have come 50, 40, 30 years ago. Okay, some of those were Abba Bivens, Yaikwab the scribe, scribe uh, Arya, when, when he was in his right spirit. So why else do we need? Once you learn the basic instructions of the Holy Bible, who you are, the tribe you're from, the names, Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, the High Holy Days, the fruits of the Spirit, why do you need to follow a man? Okay? You're supposed to follow the Messiah. We follow the Lamb wherever He may go. So, the Lamb was on the streets, the streets of Israel 2,000 years ago. We're going to be in the streets teaching our people to come back to the Father by Hashem Yehavashah. So I'm going to uh, finish this up. Behold, I will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her it's a great tribulation except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that I am He which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Yes. Yeah, so that's very powerful that uh, Yahweh Shai said he will kill their children to death of specific churches 2,000 years ago. So that's a warning in, in, in 2021 for any camp, organization, anybody out there that you know you're an Israelite, you're mixing heresy and uh, other philosophies of man into the, into the uh, camp, into your organization. You have to beware because Yahweh Shai said he would put your children to death according to what's written in Revelation, the second chapter. He said, unless you repent. So that's a threat. That's a threat by Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to read on. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. So these are the instructions to remain in the doctrine and because the depths of Satan are unsearchable. There's been Israelite camps, churches that have gone to the depths of Satan, to put it like that, okay? Adultery, heresy, okay? In the churches of Israelites in the modern age. So we have to lock into this doctrine of Yahweh Shai only because the depths of Satan have made it into other organizations, not only into Christianity, okay? Not only, not only into black Judaism or black Christianity or Hispanic Christianity, but into the Israelite organizations and camps themselves. These people in Revelation chapter two, they knew the truth. These were written to the churches. They were written to the churches. They were not written to Israelites who did not know who they were. These were people in the know. So I'm going to read on. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already 
hold fast till I come. So we're going to hold fast to the first love. When I came into the truth, accepting what Yahweh Shai said in Matthew 10, 5 and 6, I am only sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as he go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'm going to hold that fast. I'm not going to mix it in. I seen something on YouTube last night. A respected uh, so-called teacher, uh, a teacher of YouTube, right, that teaches the truth. He's now saying a lot of the people known as Jewish and Israeli that they're also Israelites. This is from a respected YouTube or social media Israelite teacher saying there's some Israelis and Jewish people that are also Israelites, part of the tribes. Now, I'm not, we're not going to accept that. Those who hold fast to doctrine and the first love, we're not going to accept that madness, okay? This is for you black Americans, all right? If your father goes all the way back to the slave trade, you're a Judite. In the West Indies, you're a Benjamite. Your father's from another nation, or your grandfather, or your great-great-grandfather, so on and so forth. The angels know who you are, okay? So we're going to lock it into this doctrine for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the law, statutes, and commandments, the fruits of the Spirit, Genesis to Revelation, the Apocrypha, okay? Ezra, Wisdom of Solomon, Maccabees, our first love, okay? We're not going to be uh, swayed or persuaded or seduced into any doctrine. I don't care if you profess to be a Hebrew, Israelite, Judite, chief of chiefs, Okay, emperor of emperors, uh, commanding, commanding bishop and pope of ten million. We're gonna keep and lock in into the doctrine of Yahweh. But that which she have already, hold fast till I come. We're gonna hold fast. I'm gonna read on. God is love. John three sixteen is for us, the Israelites. And he that overcometh. And keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. So this is uh, clear. It's clear. John 3.16. Uh, doesn't John 3.16 have to agree with Revelation chapter 2 verse 26? So God so loved the world. But the saints are going to be given power over the nations. So the, na the churches, Christianity has tricked you, they hoodwinked you. They put pull, they pulled a fast one over you. Because here it's saying those who keep the doctrine are gonna have power over the nations. But what about John 316? John 316 has been misinterpreted and has been perverted and polluted by the Roman Catholic Church, by Christianity. Because those who God so loved the world to the saints to have power over the nations. And everlasting life. I'm gonna read on. And he shall rule, and he shall rule them with a, a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers. I'm gonna read that again. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So people <clears throat> have a misinterpretation, a misconception of the kingdom of heaven. It's saying. A rod of iron is going to be in the hands of the saints in the kingdom to come. In the spiritual kingdom, there's going to be a rod of iron. So where, where, where and when has that been taught in Christianity about the rod of iron? Where's that lesson at? I haven't seen that in, a, in any sermon in the Catholic Church, in the Protestant churches. Where is the rod of iron mentioned in Revelation chapter 2? spoken of. That is promised to those who keep the first love. Okay? The Holy Bible. We're looking for paradise. We're looking for the white stone. We're looking for the hidden manna. And we're looking for the rod of iron to hold in our hands to break any nation who is not an Israelite to break to shivers any nation that is not an Israelite who do not want to bow before the sons of God, okay? The rod of iron, a spiritual, divine, and holy rod of iron to be given to those who do not waver, who 
stay within the doctrine of Yahweh Shah. I'm gonna read on. Okay, it says. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. Okay? When it says I will give him, him, it's not talking about one person, it's talking about the 144,000. Yahweh Shah is going to give it to those who are saved the morning star. Okay? Morning star. What is the morning star? Hey, the morning star is a, the highest spiritual force that can be given, okay, to the saints of God. The hidden manna, the white stone, paradise, the tree of life, the rod of iron, and the morning star, okay? That is something that will be known about, it will be given at its appointed time in the kingdom of heaven. The morning star. Why are you looking for $20 an hour? Why are you looking for one of these raggedy uh, Instagram models out here in the world, okay? People looking out here, oh, she's a, she's a, I want to settle down, I, I want to settle down, have a house, have a car, my kids go to college. Some, some of you Israelites, you fake the funk. You be out here Saturdays preaching the downfall of America where your kids in college and you hoping they're going to, uh, you're hoping that they will be successful in their careers. We're not looking for that. I'm not looking forward to my children or my family or anybody receiving anything. The saints of the God are looking for the morning star to be given unto them. That, that's what it's all about. Not anything that's in America. $25 an hour, $50 an hour, the best car, the best job, the highest rank in the camp. The highest rank in the camp. Huh? We, we ain't looking for that. huh? We're looking for the morning star. Given by Yahweh Shai. That's the ultimate goal of the sons of God. I'm going to read on. Finish it off. He that have an ear, let him hear which the Spirit saith unto the churches. So the churches, the camps, the Israelites in the truth, out of the truth, we must hear what the Spirit is saying, okay? To hell with the damn Pope, uh, so called Pope, to hell with Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, all these, the Republican Party. The, Democratic Party, anybody who's exalting himself above Yahweh Shai, trying to claim to be uh, the high priest, chief high priest, and all that nonsense, let the churches here, the camps here, what the Spirit's saying, to repent, come back to Abinawa, Ba'ashab Yahweh Shai, the pure path. We are helpers of the saints to go back to see the face of God. Those who have a pure mind shall see the Ancient of Days with the pure wool hair. That's what we're looking for, to help people back on the righteous path. So with that, I'm going to say, all praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yahshua Allah. Kwam Yahshua Allah, that's right.